So you may have just picked up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, S9 Plus, or S9 Ultra, and I'll go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this specific tablet. Now I think this is a great tablet for the most part, it's a really really good one, and I'm very happy that you picked it up because this thing will pretty much last for a very long period of time. Now on the outside, your S9 tablet can come out in a few different sizes. I have the S9 Plus here, but I also have the S9 and the S9 Ultra, and they are all very very good tablets. On the front, they are very beautiful AMOLED displays this year, which is really cool. And on the front, you also have your front camera, which is right here. It's kind of designed to be held this way, so kind of like, you know, the long way. But if you have it, you can also use it the other way too if you really want to. Now, at the very top of the tablet, we have a few things. So on the very top, we have our power button. So if we take a close look, we have our power button and our volume buttons right here. We also have our basically, you know, volume buttons right here. It's a flat sided tablet. And at the very end side of here, you basically have your SD card area. So what you could do is if you really want to, you can already put in a micro SD card slot or put in a micro SD card inside of the card slot right here. So you can grab your SIM card eject tool just like this. And what you can always do is you can just place it right into this tiny hole right there. So go and grab this. You can just place it right into this hole right here, click it into place and watch what happens you should be able to go ahead and just pry this thing out as you normally would, and just like so, and you can place your micro SD card slot right into this specific card. So now, whenever you're done and you place it in, you can just slide it back into place, and you now have expanded storage very easily, and it's a much cheaper alternative than actually paying for more storage on your tablet. Now on the very back of our tab, if we go and switch it over, you should be able to see the back of your specific Galaxy tab. Now this thing looks great. Like I said, I think it's a very, very good tablet. You have your Samsung logo at the very top left. You have your S Pen area, which is right at the very center, kind of. So it's this long thing. This is basically where you can place your S Pen, which is really cool. Then you also have a single camera or dual camera setup on your Galaxy Tab as well. So it's nice to have like multiple different camera setups on your specific tablet. So it's really, really nice to have that type of capability. And that kind of is it on the outside. Again, you have the U U Again, you have your USB-C charger at the bottom, so you can charge your tablet right there as well. But other than that, that kind of covers it up on the outside. There's not a whole lot else to kind of hit on here. Now, turning your tablet on is very basic. You have two different options. You can either double tap your display as soon as you actually have it you know, powered on, or what you could do is you can click on the power button that's in the top right corner, or top left corner. It's kind of up to you. Now, that is our standard screen. So with any device out there, you basically have this type of layout that kind of looks like this. So you'll have your screen, you know, your lock screen here. You'll have your time usually in the center. You'll have different apps, you know, apps so you can kind of access from the bottom left and bottom right. You have your time and your dates and all this other stuff here and some notifications that come up here sometimes. But for the most part, you can just swipe up and you can come back to your home screen. Now, within this home screen, it's very cool. Like I've always stated, I've been a big fan of the way these home screens kind of hold up. So on the top of the left, you basically have your time and you have your date settings. So you can always just go through and just find your time and date, which is right there. And that's a really cool thing that you have the ability of doing because it's a really, really awesome thing. On the top right corner, we do have our battery percentage as well as like our Wi-Fi icon or cell icon if we have that type of capability here. On the center, basically the way this display looks, you actually do have the ability of moving these widgets around. So if you don't like these widgets like any other Android or any device out there, you can hold it down and move these widgets around. So hold down on that icon like this and then you can just move it around once it kind of vibrates at you. And you can do the exact same thing with these icons as well. So these app icons are very much similar. You can hold down on an app icon like this, and you can move it around like you normally would. You can do the same thing with Clock and Play Store and all these other ones. Now there's also different pages, so if you scroll through, you should be able to see different pages you can go through. And you can even move an icon to one to the other, but you can also see that the dock always stays consistent. You can always move one of these app icons out from the dock into like a different area, or you can move it out from here to here. It's really up to you. This is truly your specific tablet now, so you can change it whichever way you want to. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the way this tablet looks, and it's very cool that we have this type of tablet holding up this well, because it's going to be a tablet that's going to hold up very, very long. Now, if you swipe up from the bottom, you'll basically come into your main app panel. These are all the applications that you basically have on your device. So what you can do is you can search for an application up here, you can see all your apps down here as well. You can also swipe to the side and see all the other apps that you have on inside of your device as well. So there's lots and lots of cool options and lots of things here that you can basically just maneuver around and kind of edit. Now, what you can also do is at the very bottom right, we basically have our, you know, our gesture bar or our, you know, home icons. So what we can do is if you want to go back home, 
the center hole, the, basically this is your circle, basically the circle thing that's right here in the center, and that is how you can go back home. So you want to go and tap there, and that will basically take you back home into your home screen. So if you're inside of any application, like, you know, messages by Google, you can tap on that specific circle and it'll take you back home. Same thing with folders, same thing with any specific application here. It'll take you back home. Now, let's say we are inside of, you know, let's say we're inside of our settings application. So we can hop inside of settings for an example like this. And then let's say we are in mobile and routines and then we click on sleep or something, right? Well, if we want to go back to the previous panel, you can click on this back button up here or you can click on this back button down here. So tapping on back, it'll take you to the page basically back before. It's a really cool back button to have. And I'm glad that we have it system-wide on our Android phone. Now, if you have all these applications open, you might be trying to figure out, well, if I wanted to clear out some applications in the background, how do you do that? Well, you can do that by actually tapping on these three lines right here. So what this will do is it'll open up your recents panel. So what this is going to do is it's basically going to show you all the applications that you've recently opened. And it's a very cool thing because for one, you can see all the apps and you can open them up straight from this panel. But what you can also do is you can go ahead and basically close out of these applications from the background. So you can just swipe up like this and you can basically go ahead and delete the applications as they kind of come in. So it's not necessarily deleting them, it's just kind of saving them in storage and kind of you know removing them from the background, which I think is really, really cool. So that is something that's really awesome. And again, that in and of itself is something that screams to me that's a really, really cool thing. Now, on top of that, if you want, you can always go through and basically use all these other applications on your you know, tablet as any other apps. I mean, you have your phone call application, you have settings, you have messages, you have camera, you have YouTube music, you have my files. You have a lot of different apps out there, which is really cool. So if you want to download more, you can always go to your Google Play Store, which is right here. And you should be able to open it up and basically, you know, use it as a normal you know, tablet. And you can download applications from this specific panel as well, which I think is a really, really cool thing. Now, on top of that, one other thing I want to show you is within the settings application of your Android device. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to our settings app. So we're going to open up settings just like this. And we're going to go ahead and make our way over down into basically this whole entire settings application. So what you can do is you can just scroll through and find all the apps that you like. So you can find connected devices, modes and routines, notifications. If you ever want to edit your notification settings, you can do that here. Your display, you can also kind of change up here as well. If you want to change it from light mode to dark mode, you can do that within this specific panel as well, which is cool. And you can turn on or off 120 hertz via motion smoothness. Your wallpaper style and home screen, you can edit up here as well, which again, like I mentioned, is a really cool thing. You have security and privacy, location, safety and emergency. So you have a lot of other things that you can kind of edit up here too, which is really cool. You have things like advanced features, digital well-being, and general management. But a big one I would probably want to kind of remind you of is with software update. So what I'd recommend doing here is actually going through and downloading and installing the latest update on your device. So what I'd recommend doing here is clicking on download and install and actually downloading and installing the latest version of software that you basically have. That is probably going to be the smartest thing you can do in my opinion because that is going to basically keep your tablet as up to date as possible for as long as possible. And you're going to get new features, more stability, and so many things like that. And it honestly, I would just recommend doing it from the beginning with, because it's a very, very smart thing. Now going back home, what I'd recommend doing too, every once in a while, if you want to, you don't have to, but clicking on these three lines right here and cl clicking just close all. Closing out all those applications will free up all your memory in the background, not all of it, but you can save some, and it's another cool thing I'd probably recommend doing as well, in my opinion. So for the most part, that's basically a high-level view of actually using your specific Galaxy Tab S9. It's a very, very basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.